Hot on the heels of our success in Drizzlebrook, it looks like we are going to be taking on the lead seal. This area contains a weakening ancient seal. At the end of the cycle, if the seal is within your embarkation range, you can try to reforge it. Minimum difficulty pioneer. We're gonna stick with uh, we're gonna stick with the prestige two. We'll get twelve seal fragments. Uh, plus 12 Citadel resources at the end of the cycle, and your cycle duration will be permanently increased by 8. Now, interestingly, why there are different, uh, different values for food on these regions. So this one is 60, and this one is 60. So I guess we should do one of those two. I'm curious what these red ones are. I, I, I want it a bit spicy. If we lose, we lose. But I, I'm, uh, I'm tired of just cruising in Lustrous. I don't think we've lost a run yet. So, you know, I, I think... Uh, ah, because of the settlement overlap. That makes sense. Okay. Ooh, nine humans... Now, do we have... So this is a sealed forest. Fertile soil, average amount. So we'll probably have some. Foxes are foxes and beavers are quite a good combo to start, though. Especially since I believe the foxes are going to be fast for doing the seal work. So I think we'll take that, even though there's a temptation to go for, for them. For one embarkation point, we definitely want three more people. Then one additional cornerstone reroll. I don't think we need that. Yeah, they're fast event work. We definitely want the lumber. We'll take we'll take the cheapest food. And then let's take a bit of stone. I think that's the I think that's the embarkation set that we will come up with. And uh let's let's look at the conditions really quickly. So we're gonna have uh, Abyssal Revenge. Are those faces in the trees? Woodcutters don't increase hostility, but every 10 felled trees adds two hostility points. Ah, yes, now I remember. So yeah, so picking up the wood I think is going to be extra good. Broken Ancient Seal is hidden somewhere in the forest. To find it, you must first look for clues in the surrounding glades. Its mere presence in this land summons foul plagues upon your settlement during the storm. They are active only during the storm, but Prestige 2 is going to make the storm last longer. We could go Prestige 1, but I, I think we're going we're gonna to go for it. A blueprint given to you by the queen herself. This powerful ancient structure will allow you to summon aid directly from the citadel. And then overgrown vegetation. The floor in this region is bizarrely mutated. Okay. Yeah. Well, good luck to us. We'll we'll do our best. And if we lose, that will be uh, its own special kind of something. Here goes nothing. Do 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 do. Last time we didn't use the beacon. Not that it helps. Interesting. So let's see. So we get swarms. Villagers with this effect have a minus two penalty to their resolve. A stack of this effect is added every 60 seconds. To prevent it, fulfill the needs for housing. Okay, so everybody needs to be housed before we hit hostility too. Uh, acid rain. Uh, dissolve some of the resources transported to the warehouse. Recipes producing building materials yield 50% fewer goods. Oh, that's a, that's a acid rain's a little bit tough to deal with. And we also have corrosive rainfall. Uh, acid rain is slowly eating away at the metal objects, producing copper bars, uh, crystallized dew, and all goods. I'm not psyched to see that harpies are our third, as a side note. Uh, so we're also going to get fewer metal ingots. That's not that's not terrible, I don't think. And then at hostility four, uh, the damp this damp and rotting landscape is perfect breeding breeding ground for insects. Villagers that die during this storm instantly create a blood flower. Yep, yeah, corrosive seems not great. 
but we don't I, we don't create a lot of metal normally um acid rain seems quite bad and then death and decay also seems pretty rough That's uh that's acid rain and lustrous, I believe. So we're gonna we're gonna take our time, make sure we're we're doing things as correctly as we can. Oh doodle. That is that is the worst. Now let's see, we have, we have the capacity to build a big shelter. Now we have, we have a root deposit that we should probably get going. And then a clay deposit, also probably worth. We have a lot of people, so I think our, our goal should be, actually, can I? I'm going to do this like so, and then I'm going to extend this this way and add priority to this. And then same over here with this, and we're going to prioritize this one and this one. Hey, Alex, thank you so much. Welcome on in. Thank you, thank you. So let's see. So we're going to do that, and then I think... We're going to need to get a woodcutter going. We have we have some some of these large blooms that we should probably be focusing on early so we get a decent amount of wood without too much craziness. But I and then I don't want to is that a big tree? Is this one here a big tree? I can never tell which are the big trees. But I'll get I'll get those going. And I think With that, this is our initial setup. I'd like to get these buildings done first. So let's bump up the priority on these. There we go. Oh, doodle, that is, it's it's just a little gross is all, all I have to say on the matter. All right. Ah, yes, we should look at our blueprints. We could we could potentially get some pour real early porridge with the distillery. That seems like it could be quite good. But I think we're going to need a minute on that. So I'm just going to let what's happening here happen here. Now let's see. We want we want one of our harpies in here to make things a little more efficient. Yeah, porridge and wine feels good so we'll probably grab that I was really hoping we'd get a third beaver so that I could get this fully operational but we'll just we'll just slap a fox in there as well let's get our roads built I'm trying to decide I may only I may want to do only mark trees for now to try and keep hostility in check. Do we want, I think we want a second lumber, a second woodcutter. So I'll get that going down here. Well, there's one way to stop that. There's one way to prevent the burning of oil. All right, let's see. What what do we get for our first cornerstone? Newcomers arrive faster. Increased production speed of copper briars and crystallized dew. Metallurgic proficiency, I believe, is good. But with corrosive rain, it's a little less good. Gain plus one production yield for all pack goods. Pack goods is quite good. Hey, BM, thank you so much. Yeah, we'll we'll go for pack goods. I think that's I think that's the play. Ah yes, we need to get shelter going as well. We 
We should also get our parklets, etc. set up. So these are each going to give us six residents. So that'll get us up to 12. So we need one more. We could get 100% harpy housing with one harpy house. But do we have the material? We don't have any materials. So we should get our crude workstation going. No, not even remotely. I, I don't think there is any world in which I could be ready for uh, for what is to come. For, for now, actually, I'm going to leave this unpopulated. But yeah, do we have... We have no fabric at all. That's a little alarming. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Have at least three buildings with rain engines installed. That seems pretty much free. We will probably do that. Yeah, and the oil is a nice pickup, so we'll grab that. Use 20 units of, of rainwater any type in rain engines. That fits with that. Exploration, though, we're going to be doing a lot of exploration. Plus one to stormwater production gain. Additional stormwater every yield. We gain some porridge and some people, or... We're going to assign to glade events. I like this result because we get planks and we get bricks. And we're going to do five glades, I think. So we'll grab that one. I don't think more storm water was going to be changing things for us too radically. And then we'll do value of goods sold along with amber. Okay. I think I'm going to move this here and get these done. And I will put a couple people into that. I'd like to get a harpy house to round out our housing. I, I'm planning to cut through here pretty soon, but I think maybe after the storm after our first storm might be the, the operative moment. But maybe that's too late. I don't know. Gosh, we don't really have a source of any of the things that we need for that, do we? For now, don't make any pipes. Guess we should make those and those, but... Do that before clearance. That's the new tack. That would be... That would be a little tough, if nothing else. All right, I'll, I'll try it out. So we're not going to have... We also only have two beavers. Do we... We're pretty much out of planks. All right, so I think... I think we're just going to build a regular shelter, which we're also a little shy on resources for, but... It'll come in... It'll come in eventually. So, okay, so having seen these, I think I'm going to take the distillery. Porridge is good as soon as we get a rainwater source. Uh, herb garden seems like the easy lock, but I, I think I'm going to hold off on that until we get the first two glades cracked into. Now, these are all big trees. So I'm going to do that so that I get them to carve around this. I want to see what's in here as well. Now you are producing herbs and roots. And because this is clay, uh, we're getting copper and roots, so we're not getting not getting too much value out of it. Yeah, I think 
My gut says... Yeah, I... I think I think I like the enabler first. Get us to get us some production. What's going on here? Do we not have We don't have the materials for this either. I thought we had enough for two. Okay. So that's going to be not now. I had a sneeze and I lost it. We're going to struggle a bit to get our homeless situation sorted out here. Okay, so it's pointing down this way. There's a lot of stuff down that way. Let's see. This is a long haul. We could just inch into this and get another one really quickly. I don't think it's worth disassembling here, but we're not going to have the tools to fix it. Three copper veins could be could be decent. I think it's all you said it was always a trap, but I think this is the next one we want to crack into. So let's move this. Let's just move this here. We'll get rid of these two trees and then after we do, then we can cut into cut into things. We're not quite going to make it before clearance is over. Please tell me someone's working on this inner one. I marked this so because I figured there would be other people doing this, but I guess I need to unmark that. Come on, guys. Get this, get this cracked open. Okay, so we got we got level two. Okay. Now this a lot of good stuff going on here. What is our ancient shrine? Well, that's that's not a solve we're going to have an easy time doing. The force hostility is temporarily increased by 300 points for 200 min minutes. I think we have to do the looting and we need to do it ASAP. 2 minutes. Yeah, we have enough time. So let's, we just get this going, I guess. And we don't have anything else that we can use. Okay, so I'm going to take the herb garden because we got a large plot of land here. Tinctury, ale, wine, and pigment. We got an artisan. Hmm, okay. And then we do have... We do have a geyser, and we have the materials for it. But I want to be a little careful here. So let's see. With the... Now, where, where does... This is the herb garden location that does that. Now... This feels a little close to do. Let's, let's get. Get rid of those. We're going to get that going. We're going to break into this relatively soon. 
Pigment, ale, and sacks of flour? Man. Tool production would be would be good stuff. Oh, wow. All right. Hold on. So we end up with a trader who has a scribe. I'd like all of your this and this. Yeah, planks, planks and fabric, though, I'm really excited about. So we got that going for us. All right, well, that's a, that's a perfectly even Steven trade. Yes, Chris. Shogun Showdown will be immediately after this run. So I think I do this. Uh, we get the fabric, we get the planks. And I think I'm relatively happy. I don't think there's any way we get the scribe. It's too early. I've never pushed this button before. I've never attacked the trader. But I don't think now is the time to start. Now... So let's see, we cracked into this. I think that means we're gonna... For now, I'm gonna put this up here and I'm just gonna mark these big trees. Cause I think we're, we're done with expansion for a moment here. Okay, now the harpies are still on the struggle so we'll do that and then the thing that i'm struggling with right now is i don't think we can build a warehouse next to both of these let's get like i i don't think we can afford to to build two warehouses next to these two so i'm kind of thinking we just build some high quality roads And call that good. This one we might be able to justify. How are we doing on homeless? We got another house coming in. I kind of... We, we got enough for that harpy house. So I think... The temptation is just to build one harpy house. Let's put that there. I really want to get this tree cut ASAP. And then if there are people hanging out, We'll get those set up. Did that get built? Okay, I think that got cut. So now I can move this here. Okay. This will be done in 35 seconds. What's your favorite fruit? Is it me? It absolutely is doodle. No, no question. I think grapes are a close second. Let's see. Okay, so we've got all that chopped up. I think I'm going to move this over to here to work on these big ones, just so that we have trees that we're chopping down that are not causing us 
hostility. We could also start working our way down this away. Maybe we do that. We can come back to those. What is this house? Oh, this is a shelter. Okay. So we're going to we're going to have a little more shelter than we need, but certainly looking like ancient seal is down this way some. I also think Kiwis are pretty pretty solid. All right, the event is over, so we can stop favoring you. Do you think it's in this one? Is getting to it early worth doing? Oh, we do need to get the trader built. Also be worth starting to get our distillery going. Gosh, that takes up a lot of space. Guess it is what it is. But we'll get that going. Well, we're still we're still sitting on Oh yeah, and then the trade camp. We need to get our trader up and operational. Doesn't really matter where the trader goes. So let's just build it down. Whoa, that was not the thing that I meant to click. We'll just build it down here. Now we've inched into level one hostility. I'm not sure that's a great, a great result there. Uh, I do think this is a reroll, so let's let's hit it and hope. I think so. There's a lot of things that are tempting here. Herbless camp is tempting because we just got we just got these berry bushes. So we'd be able to we'd be able to leverage those berry bushes. The small farm is tempting, but I don't know that we have the manpower for it right now. Hey, Mr. Scrake, welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going? And then the lumber mill, yeah, is tempting because it means that we're gonna get a lot more bang for our buck with it. I think we'll go lumber mill. Just because we're wood is gonna be a problem. Let's see, is there a better place to put that? This is gonna move eventually. Did we get rid of this one here? Yeah, we're we're all, we're four charges left out of this, and then we can move that. Let's grab that one as well. I don't think we're gonna get this done in time. I'm I might oh we only have one woodcutter working here. Was that intentional? I guess that was because we took some out. What, what do we have? We have one builder right now. Where Where is everybody? I'm gonna take you out. Let's take a break from foraging and a break from stone stuff. Oh, you guys are still working on this. That's what's... I wanna get these fields plowed, I think is the is the thought. Plague of Mosquitoes. Global production speed is 50% slower. Okay. We have five builders, no homeless. The harpies are cranky though, which I don't love. Can we... Can we get this going? This, this would probably save our, our harpies. Always mosquitoes, doodle. Always mosquitoes. 
Someone could get this built. I think this might give us the one Harpy Resolve that we need to keep them above board. And if we could get through the first storm that way, that would feel pretty good. Do remember that you can deconstruct the guide post. The guy. Oh, these things. The guidance stones. Yes. What, what do we get from materials if we do that? Stone and resin. All right. Yep. Yeah. Good call. That's a. That's a. That's a bit of a hidden something or other. Come on, harpies. Come on, harpy housing. Get done already. Holy smokes. There we go. All right, good. That keeps us. That keeps our head above above water. I'm gonna put some foxes in here to get this started at least. I don't think we can afford stone. Actually, that's not necessary. This this road path is almost as good. So I'll do that, and then I will move this like this, and get rid of this tree. There we go. Not yet. I haven't set any limits, but which we probably should. Fair enough. There we go. Okay, what is this stone camp? Does it have any nodes near it? It doesn't. Why why did it not complain? That's odd. Hey, thank you, Mr. Scrake. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thirty minutes can't come soon enough, Mr. Scrake. Let's see. I think we we have the materials to get our clearance water geyser. So I'd like to get that going just so we have it. Ah, we still had a moment left. Okay. So we're gonna get the clearance water and then I'm gonna pipe the distillery to get porridge going ASAP. We'll use herbs. Hmm. What's the what's the pathway? This is not a great angle. Can this, can you move in one more? You can. All right. I guess that's going to be the play. And we'll move this back down like this. We should have the trader done in time for the for the end of the storm, which is good. Okay, you guys don't need to be in here for now, so let's get more building done. We could even get a bit more plowing done. And then I do I want roots? Roots can be used for I don't think we want roots. Let's go let's go full herbs. Okay. Now you... You're one of the big trees. Yeah, for now, I think we're happy with porridge. Okay, 
Yeah, so let's see. So we're gonna get right now we don't have any money any materials. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go crazy on that quite yet. And we will do we will do our first automation just so we get that going. We may put a second person in there just so that we can get porridge going as soon as humanly possible. I don't really like the idea of getting three harpies. There's, I feel like there's a temptation to excavate this because we haven't seen... How did we get down to hostility zero? Oh, the impatience crept up, didn't it? We have pretty good resources. So let's see, six builders. I should. For now, let's get more people working on that. We don't. We don't have a lot of people. There's not a lot of building to do right now. So I'm going to get people working in places. And then we're going to have enough. We're going to have enough water that we'll be able to get porridge going relatively quickly here. Okay, let's look at our cornerstone. Okay, it makes it easier to prepare for the worst. Discovering small glades increases working speed. Uh, forbidden glades for 180 seconds. Uh, Survivor bonding. People of your settlement have survived many hardships. Bring them closer together. Plus 10% villager speed, plus one global resolve. Survivor bonding is probably the way to go. Get 40 water skins for every full reputation point earned through high resolve. Yeah, we're not really doing either of these, so survivor bonding is, is the play. We do have one reroll. That would be the other option. Yeah, I think I think it's good enough. We'll we'll save that. Now let's see. We get two more of these. This one is basically free, and we get biscuit production. Biscuits are we only have well, we have two that use biscuits. So for complex food, that's pretty good. Trade routes, though, feels very straightforward. Two additional biscuits every yield. I also like the fabric here, and the pigment is okay too, but I, I think we do cellar, because I think that's the path we're going. So I'll grab that one. Twenty-five is ooh, more more grain produced from from small farm, plantation, and herb garden. Or more export specialization. Yeah, so this, it's easy to get the crop packs here. It's very, un, I think we, wait, we're rich with tablets in this one. But I think, I think we do this one because we're going to have an easy time creating the packs of crops. Ah, oh, that's right. We want to save the tablets. Okay. Okay. Now, I didn't like this straw. Do we slow our growth down a little bit to get a better mix? Either way, we're going to have more harpies than we have harpy housing. So I think we just take the three harpies. Because harp harpies crave the distillery? No. Foxes, foxes like the distillery. I do want to get this online. For now, we're just going to do... For now, we're just going to do porridge. And am I going to rain punk it? 
Oh, it takes drizzle water. We got clearance water, so I'm not going to rain punk it. When this tree goes, it's just a my it's just a small glade. Oh yeah, Zorg. I forgot to look at Zorg. Get ourselves a ranch. Don't think we care about the ranch. See, I'd love to get all that, but I don't think we can. We're we're pretty okay with fabric. Pretty okay with planks. We did also get that lumber mill going, didn't we? Did I build the lumber mill? No, I forgot to build the lumber mill. Let's get the lumber mill built and let's disable planks here. Fast forward production by buying some herbs. That's reasonable. How much, how many herbs does it take for one of these? Five? So about like 20. I kind of want to buy as many planks as I can just because it'll reduce our reliance on chopping trees. I want to hang on to the resin. The pigment I think I can sell. Get 14 of those. I, I kind of want to hang on to the resin for burning. I was I was a little I'm a little concerned about fuel supply because I really well let me let me X that out. One thing I don't want to be doing is burning wood, which I think right now I am doing. I'd rather burn marrow. Oh, resin is not marrow. Point taken. Uh, point taken. Yes. So let's get rid of all of that. Resin and marrow feel very adjacent. That looks like a decent deal. All right. So that's going to get that's going to get our porridge going and then hopefully we won't have porridge problems after this. Now, obviously we have we have road issues. I think we want to do a bit more expansion here. So I'm going to move this over here and let's let's chop through there now porridge production should be starting as fast as the clearance water can come in we're not going to get full yields out of our uh, out of our farms in its current state but Yeah, if we find a drizzle water geyser, things will change, but our lack of our lack of beavers is really uh I'm feeling it. We only have the two. For now I'll put one harpy in there just so that it's working. Yeah, and we don't need anything from our crude workstation because the traders have been relatively kind to us. I'm thinking about opening this dangerous glade, but maybe I want to get this one open sooner. Yeah, let's do that, actually. 
What's uh, what's the deal with this one? I, I think I changed my mind about this. Let's move this... down here and get this cracked open because next year season is clearance so we have a lot of time and we still have the 30 oil right so there's a decent chance that we can and maybe we build a warehouse down here if if when we crack into this, we find the uh, the seal. Do you have any place to move? You have no place to move. We did just let Zorg go. We can always order another another guy. Okay, more freaking farmland. Hello. The obelisk. We have. We had. We had stuff for this. We could have we could have used our resin on this if we hadn't gotten rid of it. But say lovey. Third herb herb farm at this stage seems a little a little greedy. When in doubt, actually, do we want to break into this one up here? Yeah, let's let's keep continue our expansion. Just see what we get. Yeah, I guess you do get a lot out of it, don't you? Ten wood we can afford. We'll do that, and then do we have any foxes on hand? Aren't they? So those are not a plus one reputation gain for uh, for doing the empathy choice. So this is the shorter path here, but it's pretty long still. Minus 10 hostility. That also sounds pretty good. More farmland. <laughs> Good gravy. Good gravy. All right, let's come over here, start working on these just to get that going. Every... Yeah, more, more resources for us. I'm going to wait on that one and have these two continue to work on it. We also don't, are about to crack into this. So, uh, exploration five glades. Let's hold off. I think I want the impatience for now. There's nothing that this is giving us 